and I see this thing that looks like a gray hubcap sticking out from a cliff approximately about three feet above the, uh, the where the cliff meets the beach. Uh -huh. I think I think that's a skull, a portion of a skull that's sticking out of the cliff. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I feel something hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're at Stratford Hall in Virginia. It's in Westmoreland County. And we're along the, the cliffs on their property. This specimen is somewhat unusual. This whale skull is somewhat unusual because of its size. Typically, we find uh, mostly dolphin skulls. So a six-foot skull, that translates into a very large and very heavy jacket. And so we've invested weeks here in excavating to expose um, some of the top of the skull and to determine the perimeter of the bone, but we're hoping it will tell us uh, more about some of the diversity of whales and dolphins that were here during the Miocene epoch. That's the name that's given to that, this period of geologic time that's represented by, by the layers of sediment uh, just next to us here. Could it work it out for us? <laughs> Special identification, it being close to a minke whale, that's, that may, may prove to be inaccurate. It may be, it might be, it may be. Who knows? might be a uh, new species, which would be just phenomenal. Uh, the coolest thing about finding this is definitely having the entire animal present, finding the, so instead of just finding an isolated bone or an isolated skull or lower jaws, we found the entire animal with the skull in the, in the cliffs here.